You know, it's it's only Friday, and they're just throwing stuff at us. Just they're just like, hey guys, can how much can you handle? How much news can you possibly handle? That's amazing and awesome. Like seriously, hey, surprise, fuckers, what can you handle? But seriously, before we talk about it, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, take the time right now, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it, so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. If you like this video at any time, hit the thumbs up. And if you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback, drop them in the box below. Additionally, I got some giveaways going on. There's some links in the description, stuff like that. Check it out. 50 bucks in your favorite gaming currency. V bucks, high points, blah, blah, blah. But, yo, we just got a tweet from Treyarch. Whoa, what? What's this? The 13th of November, and we get Nuketown, baby. It's time for Nuketown. Now, I know anybody that is a fan of Black Ops. I mean Black Ops. Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4. Nuketown is the map for intensity. I mean, like, let's be real. Like, if you want a, a map that's actually, like, crazy, has places to camp, you can run and gun, you can smash people fast, you're right back into the action if you die. It's fucking Nuketown. It is Nuketown. Like, dude, are you guys ready? Like, can you feel it? Like, seriously, can you guys feel it? Like, Nuketown is coming, and we're about to be playing Nuketown. Guys, seriously, Nuketown. Think about this. Okay. Now, we I don't know if we're going to get, like, the futuristic Nuketown, or if we're going to get, like, uh... You know, the blown up uh, Russian nuclear, you know, kind of thing, uh, which would be cool. That would be cool, in my opinion, if they gave us Nuketown that was like actually decimated like it is in uh, Blackout right now. That would be awesome. Be and I don't mean like the full big size Nuketown, but like, you know, the actual Nuketown map, but it was like blown up how you the area actually is. And there's like sections missing of the houses and some like additional debris and stuff like that. That would be the shit. Like that would legit be awesome. That would be like in terms of the best way to reimagine Nuketown, that's the best way right there is change the, the actual elements of how the map plays while keeping the visual map the same. But, you know, even though it's like, you guys get what I'm saying, like, it doesn't look the same because there's obviously been, like, you know, some war damage to the play area, you know what I mean? But it's the same layout. It's the same, like, if you were to look at a blueprint, the map is the same. It looks exactly the same. Um, that's gonna, that would be awesome. Um... But at the same time, like, I don't want to be that guy to say this, but just, like, in case, like, you know, like, just, you know, maybe be worried that it's actually a bigger map than before. And that the new Nuketown is, like, you know, more of what they've envisioned over there in Blackout. Now, I don't think that's what's going to happen at all. I'm just saying that could be... You know, I mean, we've we've seen them turn COD into Halo and other in Crisis and other FPS games for the last four years, and then they were like, "Hey, let's make World War II." And you know, people, the the argument is always, "It's in development. It's in development. We can't stop." Uh, no, that's bullshit. I, I call bullshit on that because these are like they go look at it. Look at World War II and tell me that's not a bunch of reused textures from Modern Warfare Remastered. And it's like, dude. And they're, yeah, okay, there's a few of them, but no. no. They don't even, I don't even think they know what they're going to do for a game right now. Like, I would say In Infinity Ward is like thumb in their ass going, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, what, what should we make our game right now? But, uh, yeah, guys, a new town's coming. I'm hype as shit. I, can't, I couldn't even believe it. I put up a video, and then as soon as I put up a video, I see news about Nuketown. I'm like, what the fuck is going on, dude? You guys are screwing with me now. So all I had was some gameplay screwing around with a rocket launcher here. Uh, getting that thing gold. Uh, you know, it was like, as I said in my last video, and as you guys have obviously been aware, I've been working on some camos slowly but surely. And, uh, you know, this is basically the only junk video that I had to use 
Um, so I did, and, and like at points in here, I was like screaming, like, "Why are you protecting this crap? <laughs> Why are you protecting that?" Oh man, it was, it was all bad. Um, I had like the least amount of fun finishing uh, that rocket launcher. Uh, that I've had playing any video game in my life. Like, that was honestly the worst uh, experience to date. <laughs> like, I don't think I've ever picked up a video game and been so fucking pissed off not having even remotely of a good time as using that thing. Um, I did have, like, one or two games where, like blowing people up for the 10 kills was fun and and i was trying to find one of those but i couldn't find any of those game footage like at all and i i swear i saved like two of them where i had like 50 bombs with the rocket launcher only but uh i don't know so yeah i just grabbed something so we could talk about nuketown and obviously we got firing range here again which sucks but it's firing range so i'm just kind of fitting you know the original Black Ops had, you know, Firing Range and Nuketown, and uh, I'd, I'd be interested in knowing what you guys want to see in the next upcoming, you know, like, map packs. Like, what old map would you like to see? Would you, like, if you could have any single Call of Duty map, what would you like to see? And, additionally, if you could have any map from any other game, what would you like to get? But that wraps it up for me, guys. Here's two other videos you can check out. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And, as always, have a good one.